Our scenario is the no landing scenario that we keep muddling through. I think you see you know, the economy is actually, if you look at the US, Europe and Asia, um, you know, there, we're not in a recession anywhere. Maybe pockets of countries are in recessions, uh, but employment levels remain high. Uh, you know, corporate profits remain pretty strong, solid. The banks are still pretty healthy, even though there are pockets of issues there as well. So hopefully we can kind of muddle through. Uh, and when the capital markets stabilize, uh, then I think we can get some more activity going. Hopefully some IPOs will start happening again. Uh, and we can uh, all get uh, really back to business. Um, let's do some more Aneta. It's nice not having to work. Aneta also asked how a potential market correction would impact EQT's investment strategy. There's always a risk. I guess, you know, there was a correction last year. Now the markets are up, what, 20% this year uh, in the equity side. So, um, you, you know, the, um, if you look at it from a private equity mindset point of view, what we're trying to do is find great companies or companies that can become great. And we want to own them and work with them and transform them over three, four, five, six, seven years. Uh, infrastructure, for example, is also a big new area for private equity where we're one of the global leaders. Uh, that is an area where there's inflation protection, some downside protection, but you still need tools, capital, mindset to, to grow and develop those companies over time. So there's still lots of opportunities, even if the market's moving around, to find those companies and build them with a long-term mindset. Let's talk a bit about the infrastructure because clearly that has to be built up uh, across the world in a way. So uh, where do you see it's most attractive also in terms of regulation to put your money into infrastructure? Yeah, right now we're mostly focused on developed markets. Uh, we're trying to invest behind themes like the energy transition, the transportation transition, which is also following energy, uh, aging population and the digitalization of society. And all those trends are very, very long. They need a lot of capital, a lot of competence. Um, there's regulatory uh, positive pressure behind those themes. Uh, so we're investing across the US, across Europe, and across Asia in those sectors. Uh, over time, they're also going to move into developing markets. Some of them already have with renewables, for example. Uh, so this is a long-term growth area for the whole private markets industry, actually. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecchi and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.